Disclaimer, this video is not a fix, nor do I pretend to know what the hell I am doing. So, yeah. If you came here for that reason, then I apologize. You're not going to find your answers here. Cue the intro. Drop it. Well, I'm about to do something extremely terrifying. So, lately, uh, my MacBook Pro, I don't edit on this uh, machine anymore because it just, it just doesn't go. For some reason, it just does this thing where it just and resets itself. And uh, that's called kernel panic. And kernel panic is where the processor or the, it, I think it's just, it, it heats up or something and it just kind of shits itself and just goes and can't compute so it kind of resets itself panics and just kind of uh just shuts down and restarts and i've been dealing with this problem for the last couple of years now trying to fix out and work out uh, i did a video uh that's become quite popular called um how to fix kernel pan panic dot 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 probably um and it's got a lot of thumbs down because I didn't fix the problem at all. I was just like frustrated. But what I did in that video, I copied the entire image of my MacBook Pro off onto a hard drive. Then I reset and cleaned up the whole hard drive. Then I uploaded the image back to the back to it. So I did a full kind of backup and then rebacked it. You know, re, re put it back on. Didn't fix the problem. So. Uh, I have to do do this. I've been spending the last couple of weeks uh, copying my whole entire contents of everything that's important on the hard drives to my other external hard drives. And I'm going to completely wipe it back to factory settings, hoping that will fix the problem. Uh, hoping that there's just something running in the background that I don't know about or that I can't access or that my knowledge of computers just don't, uh, doesn't register. So let's see how this goes and how bad I stuff this up. One thing we don't want to happen right now is we don't want the computer to, to kernel panic while it's uh, kind of rebooting itself. So um, it's going to be a tough process, I think. Alrighty, guys, here we go. Control R to reset. Alright, restarting the Mac. Oh, this looks promising. All right, let's do this. Disk utility. Continue. All righty. There it is, the base system. This is a raise on next Vendetta's hard drive. Format. I want to go extended channel. Uh, here we go. A raise. And there we go. We're raising everything. Let's just hope this fixed the problem. All right. It's done. Erase process complete. Click done. That was quick. I was going to turn the computer, like the camera off and go, I'll tell you when it's done. Okay, so... Okay. Now we can reinstall Mac OS. People in the, in, the, in the comments down below will probably be going, oh my god, what are you doing? You're doing it all the wrong way. So I apologize if to rest, download and restore Mac OS, your computer is eligible, will be verified by Apple. Okay. So <laughs> people will probably be like, no, he's doing it all wrong. I, well, I hope I'm not, but yeah, let's agree. 
Hopefully no human centipede terms and conditions are in that. Uh, let's go there and install. Okay, this is probably where I'll turn the camera off and turn it back on when it's done. Something's happening. It hasn't failed me yet. All right, just reset after installing. So I'm guessing this is start screen and it will install properly. I've had no kernel panics whatsoever. Let's hope that, you know, completely erasing the whole system, you know, uh, kind of fixes everything. Interesting, we are presented with a kind of darkened screen and a spinny wheel of death. No, it's gone. No, it's back. No, it's gone. It's back. No. Okay, so everything has been reset down to. This is the thing, my trackpad is really bad. Like, you can barely click. There we go. Let's see. Um, select your keyboard, Australia. Um, that one. Oh god, I gotta type my password in again. Uh, what's my password? I'm not gonna upload this video until I have a clear uh, kind of look at maybe overnight or something to see if it does uh, do anything. Okay, there it is. All updated, um, back to normal. Completely erased everything off it. Uh, made sure I backed up everything on this. So, um, I will update you guys within 24 hours on this. Well, you, you'll know now. But, um, yeah, see if it works and see if I have any problems with kernel panic and, and everything like that. So, let's, let's see how we go. There you have it, guys. Not even an hour into doing anything. Restarted because there was a problem. Press the any key a few seconds to continue to start up. So I just did it. So yeah. Doesn't work. So that for no reason. Yay! And I just did it again as you saw the flash. Usually it does it twice when it does it. So and then it'll load up and I'll say um, would you like to report this to Apple? And then, then you go into the details and it says, Kernel Panic is the reason for this. So, yeah. So it's the next day now, guys, and it is really frustrating, and uh, I've kind of just set my Mac legit here, down here. It's not going to get turned on. For a little while, I'm just going to leave it down there. I've still got my MacBook Air here. And uh, it's really frustrating that it keeps happening. Um, because that is a good machine. And without that problem, it still runs completely fine. Uh, so, yeah, I guess I'll just leave it here. I tried it, tried again, tried my best to fix it in the, the knowledge space of what I know which is not very much about computers, but, you know, I know the basics, but yeah. So, um, yeah, uh, if you like this video, chuck a like on it. If you want to subscribe to my channel, I do vlogs every day. If you if you just kind of clicked on this and going, ooh, a fix for kernel panic. Uh, yeah, um, I do vlogs nearly every day, and uh, yeah, uh, make sure to... Like, subscribe, and uh, comment down below. Make sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Stay weird, keep smiling, and I'll catch you in the next vlog. Bye.